My name is uh, Philip Pearson. I'm the Business Development Director for uh, A. Pearson Sons in uh, Cheshire. We're tomato growers and we supply um, Tesco's and other uh, retailers with tomatoes in the UK. Our company has taken a, a whole farm approach to climate change mitigation. Um, we've seen benefits not only to the environment, um, but also to an improvement on the bottom line. Uh, we see the, the two things combined. Our nursery here, we, we have um, 50,000 square metres or 12 acres, uh, and we produce something like three, three and a half thousand tonnes of tomatoes per year. We grow our tomatoes in, uh, in glass houses, as you can see behind me here, um, in very tall vine type um, uh, systems, um, supported by a string that, and the, the crop is, is hung from the roof. Um, we also use very efficient systems to, to use energy, so we use the minimum amount of energy that you could possibly use. A tomato needs a number of things to grow, um, particularly warmth, um, water, fertiliser uh, of nutrition, um, lots of light and importantly carbon dioxide which the tomato plant uses to make sugars which is the, the part of the, uh, the tomato that you taste when you eat them. We, we get carbon dioxide from our energy system which delivers the, ener the, the heat energy into the, into the crop. We burn natural gas in a combined heat and power plant. The combined heat and power plant produces e uh, electricity for the local town in a very envir environmentally friendly way because we use all the outputs, all the heat that the engine produces we use in the heat in the glass house to keep it warm and the exhaust gases are cleaned and blown into the glass house. Um, quite large volumes, gives us huge volume increases in the amount of tomatoes we, we produce but more importantly it takes that carbon dioxide that would normally go into the environment from power generation and gives it a useful benefit and we get better flavoured tomatoes and more of them. Now that gave us a payback to our company in circa eight to nine months um, which is a superb return. And we also make maximum use of all the inputs we put in. We have uh, 600,000 litres of thermal storage on our site here and uh, the benefit of that is that when we're running our generation plant on a hot day we don't throw the energy away, we store it in the, as, as hot water in these large tanks and then it gets pumped back into the glass house when it's required later on. We use um, some in other interesting technologies to produce our tomatoes. Um, for instance, the water that we use to irrigate our crop comes from a borehole from the ground. We pass it through this pipe work here through a heat pump, which is in this enclosure here, which traps the heat that comes from the pack house and delivers it back into the water, which then goes off in a way to, the, to irrigate the tomato crop two benefits there. First benefit is that we are able to preheat our irrigation water so that the roots don't get a small uh, uh, a shock, a bit like getting into a cold bath. But the second benefit and the more important one is that we very very efficiently cool our pack house without throwing that energy away. Um, we put it in in a matter of weeks, maybe let's say six to eight weeks and we reckon our payback is less, certainly less than 12 months, um, circa nine months payback. We've invested in uh, anaerobic digestion technology in, in our business over the last two, almost three years now. Um, the reason for, for doing that was that we, you see the people behind me are removing um, leaf material and we have an organic waste issue from this process. Um, rather than put that in landfill, we looked at making other climate change benefits um, to our business. Um, the anaerobic digester takes the leaf material, chops it up and turns it into a number of useful products. So we're taking the water, and the intention is to put that in our irrigation system, back in for the crop. The fertiliser that we give to the plant, which comes out in the leaves, we put back in from the end of the AD system. Um, we're producing CO2 off the AD, which we're putting back into the glass house and giving the crop the immediate, immediate benefit. And then the last bit that's left is um, some methane, which we are initially going to burn to make el electricity and heat through a CHP system. And our payback was looking like something on the region of 12 to 18 months payback um, on, the, on the whole capital. Our company has a history uh, over a number of generations of being innovators in our field. Um, and our drivers are, we are very keen, we live in a beautiful part of the world, want that, want that to move on for future generations. So we have environmental motivators as well as pure business ones. A big benefit to our business has also been the fact that our, our consumer has been able to find available environmentally friendly tomatoes. Um, our customer, therefore, in Tesco are delighted um, to be able to purchase tomatoes that have been produced in such an environmentally friendly way. Um, and as a result of that, they have rewarded our efforts by making us the first ever recipient of the Tesco in the Environment Award, which we were delighted to receive. <laughs>